another new adventure welcome new challenge this month five under five hosted by missy emily and co-hosted by devon their channels will be linked in my description box so please check them out crafty cove farm charm chick and freckle mom diy and another channel she have it's called freckle mom at home so please when you're done watching here follow the playlist with all the beautiful creators diy number one i got this uh, plastic container from dollar tree i got this cover and a uh, black material so this food cover what i'm gonna do is i just remove the metal out of it i just i just want to reshape it because it's too long for me so I'm gonna cut it on half. What I'm doing right now is I'm just measuring. I'm gonna cut it. And now, because the colors are not matching with my decoration, I'm gonna cover it with black material. So I just measure it like that. And I'm gluing it on top of it. I'm only gonna cover the blue color. What I'm doing now is um, I'm gluing a white rope on the corner of my cover and now I just uh, took off the plastic handles so I can put the wires back. So now I'm just putting the wire back but because they're too long I'm gonna cut them just enough to cover my uh, umbrella, I'll call it umbrella, foot umbrella. So I'm just cutting it just like so. When the wires are cut, I'm adding them to the plastic hooks on each corner and my foot umbrella is done now in the black basket I'm adding a wood dowels on each corner and on top of them I'm gonna add my uh, foot umbrella what I'm doing right now is I'm distressing it with a plaster color just to make it a little bit vintagey so I'm just airbrushing it just a little bit and it looks very nice with the holes it looks very unique and vintagey looking and what we're gonna do in this container we're gonna put all our sauces for the barbecue so I'm just gonna write down with a chuck sauces and I'm gonna add it to the basket. That's it, I took a twine and I added it. And here you go. DIY number two. I'm getting this metal bucket from Dollar Tree and I'm gonna paint it with a baking powder and a plaster color so I can make it more like a ceramic looking. So I'm going all over with it. I didn't mix the baking powder because I just wanted to add some texture on the bucket. And it worked really well, if you can see. When it's dry, I grab those stickers from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna add them. I'm gonna add drinks. So in this bucket, we're gonna put some ice and some cold drinks for our barbecue outdoor. So I'm adding the stickers. I'm gonna use them as a stencil. 
Now I'm grabbing a black paint and I'm painting it all over on both sides. And then after that, I'm gonna grab the plaster color so I can distress it. so it can look rustic, vintage -y. Now I'm removing my letters. It look nice. I fixed it a little bit where it bled a little bit. And here you go, the bucket is done and ready to be filled. DIY number three, I have those old jars and I'm using a hula, from the hula skirt, I'm using those pieces. I cut it just to cover it. And I'm painting, I'm gonna paint those uh, hula pieces with a black paint and a water and I let them dry. And now I'm just gonna add them on top of the jars. And what I did is I just created some outdoor lanterns. Super easy, super fast. And look how they look, beautiful. DIY number four, I'm gonna try to make a barrel that I can fill it out with the water. So I'm just using a rope and this um, a drink container from uh, Dollar Tree. So I'm just going all over with this rope to make it look like a like those wooden barrels that uh, they're selling and they're pouring um, drinks out of it. So this time I'm gonna fill this one with the water. Super easy, super fast and super cute. So now when they're all done, I'm using a lighter just to get rid of those pieces. And I'm using a Jingo blocks so I can put those stands. So, uh, simple like five of them and that's it uh, I'm using five jingle blocks on both sides so I can make two stands so our barrel can stand on top of those and here you go I just grabbed those wooden signs I'm gonna write down a water and that's it our project is done now we're going to DIY number five I had this plastic container from Dollar Tree and I took those wooden sticks that we're using for barbecue and I'm measuring and cutting them and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cover it all with, with them. As you can see, I, I'm cover, measuring, cutting and gluing on each side. Super easy, except that the hot glue killed me. Now I'm just adding paint on it, plaster and black, make it vintage looking. I'm sanding it a little bit. And now with the twine, I'm adding on the corners just a little bit so we can make a design and make it look like a vintage uh, farmhouse looking. Wooden container for our cutlery. And also I'm adding a wooden sign with a twine. I'm tying it in the middle with a chuck pen I'm putting a cutlery I'm writing down cutlery and here you go our fifth item is done and here is the final reveal for our barbecue I set them up outside look how beautiful they look here is the barrel with the planters 
and our sauces basket royalty sauces basket look how cute it look I put all those sauces in there and then I fill out the bucket with the ice and drinks my husband made some grill for us that's Macedonian kebabs and some stuffed mushrooms just can see then I made some uh, cheese uh, meat grape or the rare and that's it super easy super fast fancy look how fancy it looks I love it and all those items are from Dollar Tree look how beautiful the cutlery box with the sauces with the food it look amazing I really love it we got some desserts as well and beautiful let me know what do you guys think if you like it and i just want to wish you happy 4th of july and i'm sending you a lot of music a lot of love positive energy and happiness until next time from my family to yours cheers bye bye Don't forget to check out the playlist for all my amazing friends and give them some love from me to them. Thank you.